the Food and Nutrition Council. Nutrition is a dose of preventative medicine serve as the basic of curative medicine and the responsibility of every physician to their patient. Well, on a daily basis, we bring you the basket of fruit and vegetable. And this morning is no difference, and it comes to compliments of the folks at the Marketing and National Importing Board. And what a beautiful basket indeed it is this morning. Just a basket of sunshine. Look at that, man. I'm looking at these ripe golden apple in the basket, and I'm feeling hungry. It is stimulating my taste buds. We also have some cucumbers there. I see some sweet peppers, some seasoning peppers. Yes, a nice crop of ginger. And you know that is just around the corner. So you need your ginger to do your ginger beer and so on. You know, I hear a talk, something to the effect, you know, the, um, the organic ginger that you used to have scattered all around your cocoa and that type of thing. I understand that these ones are so potent. And the amount of ginger beer you can make with a small amount, you can't necessarily do that with the big gingers that they are now um, growing in bulk and so on. I don't know how true that is, but you know, I, I like the organic ginger, man, a small piece and it, oh, it's potent. Well, we have some sugar cane in that as well, and we have some nice plantains. There is no shortage of uh, plantains to do your uh, fried plantain and whatever else you do with ripe planting. And of course, we have some ripe bananas, and right in the middle of that basket is a nice uh, looking um, pumpkin. Yes, pumpkin is, is quite in abundance, and people are using pumpkin for their pumpkin pies and stews and um, what you may call it, the soups and so on. In fact, just last week, I had a nice pumpkin soup with a little pigtail. Boy, that went down extremely well. So again, folks, I, I just like to remind you that everything in that basket can be found at the Marketing and National Importing Board. Down to sugar cane. Look, there's a nice piece of sugar cane there in that basket. That is indeed a healthy looking basket. And folks, you can go on down to the Marketing and National Important Board. Yes, they have a branch at the Excel Plaza in Grand Anse. And they, of course, are serving the, uh, the south of the... And, of course, there is the branch on Young Street in St. George's. And they are serving the tongue of St. George and its environments. And don't forget, folks, uh, you can check out their pack house in River Road. And they also have a branch up there in St. Patrick. And, uh, yes, they also have a branch in Karakou. So the Market and the National Importing Board, they are continuing to to you know, look after the country's, our nation's food security. And don't forget, if you're a visitor to the island or if you're traveling not too long from now and you'd like to take back a little taste of the Spice Island, yes, they have a wand of confectionery fudge and sugar cake and tamarind ball and guava cheese. They also have the jams and the jellies made out of nutmeg and guava. And they also have spices and it's nicely packaged, you know, you want to present it well. So they have them in the in the bowly and just really nicely sealed and packaged. Of course, they have things like uh, coconut oil as well. And uh, I understand that on the Young Street branch and then some of the other branches, they also have um, eats and so on, eats and drinks, fresh juices you can pass in there and pick up a snack and so on. So the marketing board, man, they continue to play their part um, in food security. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's take a break. And when we come back, it is going to be our celebrations segment. We'll be right back. Sometimes the simplest joys in life can be the most rewarding. For quality sexual and reproductive health care services, make the GPPA your Visit our offices at St. George's and Grenville. Call 440-3341 or 442-5442 for more information. The Grenada Planned Parenthood Association, promoting healthy living.
back to Spice Morning. Well, it is the celebrations segment for this morning. And today, yes, we have a couple of people, in fact, a few people celebrating birthdays today. That is the 18th, Monday, the 18th day of November. Well, we have Miss Amanda Benjamin. And Amanda, well, you are from Mount Fendu in St. Patrick. Oh, that's a picture there of Amanda. Well, I believe that Amanda works right here at uh, GIS. <laughs> so, Amanda, happy, happy birthday to you. And th these greetings are coming from your mom, your dad, all of your siblings, that's your brothers and sisters, your friends and family, all over. Of course, the staff here at GIS and, of course, myself on Spice Morning, they are wishing you a safe day, a blessed day, and they hope that you live to see many, many birthdays to come with God's richest blessing. So again, happy birthday, Amanda Benjamin. We also have Miss Nevlin Williams. And Nevlin, well, you are from Hermitage in St. Patrick. Um, well, the greetings are coming from your relatives and your friends, especially Miss Amanda Benjamin. So Nevlin and Amanda born on the same day and they know of each other's birthday. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, you are being wished all the best, God's blessing and they hope that you live to see a lot more birthdays. We also have Miss Alicia Alexis George, and Alicia is from Mount Craven in St. Patrick. She is residing in Guelph, St. John's at the moment. Well, these greetings are coming from your relatives and friends and your friend Aman Amanda. <laughs> Hoping that you have an enjoyable one. Have faith in the Lord. And enjoy your day. It seems as if there's a network of people that are aware of each other's birthday. <laughs> that's interesting. Maybe I should note my birthday and find out everybody that's selling up, celebrating the same day as me. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Anyways, as I always say on Spice Morning, um, Amanda Nevlin and uh, Alicia, I hope you you know, um, you know, forge ahead, you know, that you would have um, learned from the past, you know, and that you continue to grow and that you continue to yourself and be all that you can be in this life. And I hope that the special people in your life, that they would do something really, really nice for you to cap off the day, if you know what I mean. In terms of the discussions this morning and uh, what we are going to be Talking about, well, I'm expecting Miss Hazelyn Hutchinson, and she's the Executive Director of Grenada Chamber of Industry and Commerce, and she is going to be talking to us about the 2013 GC Dinner and Award and People's Choice Award. And I know they were on the show not, well, some time ago, and they told us, they gave us a hint of what was coming, what was going to be taking place. So I suppose now that it is closer, they are coming on to remind us and to raise our in awareness and to really get people to support and participate that very, very important event. And of course, they would probably be disclosing for us some of the companies, uh, persons who've been nominated awards in that, at that event. Well, we are also expecting Dr. Jessie Henry, and she's head of the HIV program from the Ministry of Health. We're expecting Ms. Judy Benoit. She's a health promotion officer, and they are going to be talking to us about HIV status in Grenada. We are also expecting uh, Mr. Morris Cox, and he's a deputy coordinator of State Response Project. Ms. Elaine Henry McQueen, and uh, she's a program manager. And they are going to be talking the International Men's Day and 16 Days of Activism Initiative. Men's Day, I like that. <laughs> that should be interesting discussion. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take a break, get some commercials in. And when we come back, we are going to jumpstart the discussion right here on Spice Morning. I'm inviting you to stay with me. Are you celebrating a birthday, anniversary, an accomplishment, the birth of a new baby, or just a day? Spice Morning with Janice, the hottest morning show on Grenadian TV, invites you to send in your greetings via email along with a picture. Send to gisgrenada at yahoo.com or chadlinbilly at hotmail.com or you can call in live at 435-2636. It's a celebration segment of GIS Spice Morning. Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Only on GIS TV.
Ghanaians are resilient, tough, especially when the going gets rough. Bouncing back from Ivan and Emily is just part of that rich tradition of fortitude. Now we're here again, riding the turbulent waves of an downturn until we rise again. Everyone's called to play a part in the recovery process. The IMF and the World Bank have agreed to help and friendly countries will provide grants and soft loan. Therefore, let's show them that we're also prepared to help ourselves. As a proud nation, let's all play our part from paying our taxes to other forms of sacrifice. We can influence nation and hasten the economic recovery. As patriotic Grenadians, we're all aboard for Operation Recovery. Hey, Grenada to the world. The government information service continues its journey, reaching out to new platforms, highlighting public issues and the work of government in action. A new glitzy website has been launched to achieve the goal of sharing information readers and viewers everywhere. News.gov.gd is the new GIS website updated constantly with information, capturing progress in government, reports, press releases, pictures, newsletters, news on demand, live GIS TV online streaming, GIS TV and radio programs, the popular Spice Morning with Janice, constantly updating and informing on public information. You can also download the GIS TV app on Apple and Google Play for free, straight onto your Android smartphone or Apple iPhone. News.gov.gd is the GIS new Glitzy website. Log on. <laughs> Welcome back to Spice Morning for today, Monday, the 18th day of November. Folks, you know that Christmas is just around the corner. I'm wondering what you're doing already in terms of uh, planning for Christmas. I know some of you are probably sitting there and saying, you know what, I can't really take on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this time around, you know, because time is tough, I have to be a savior. I have to save my money for things that I consider to be more priority. But I'll tell you what, um, there, there are certain things, you know, that are so important that if we get rid of it or if we minimize the significance of those things, it's really going to take away so much from our way of life, man, our culture, the things that uh, that is unique to Grenada. And of course, we have our unique ways of uh, celebrating. We have our unique ways of, of, of doing things, of celebrating Christmas. And sometimes, you know, we have a tendency to lay more emphasis on the commercial things. But growing up as a small child in the country, and I, I mean, I grew up in, a, in the Windsor Forest area. And for me, Christmas was the most delightful time of the year. I remember growing up in a community where um, the older folks, you know, like Miss Erin and, and, and Miss Gottrude and all of these people, they were engaged in making things like potato pone and potato puddings and people were using things like mud ovens and they were cutting blogger leaves and, and you know, preparing um, for baking. I remember the, the huge fires coming out of those of these old people, man, they sweeping with their head tie and you know it, it is such a nice memory and I know that uh, a lot of you many of you especially the younger folks um you would not have had those types of experiences but for people like myself I mean this thing is so ingrained in me so the thought of uh, persons not giving priority to Christmas and that type of thing for me it's like what are you talking about the salt ham these days you know we don't do as, as, as much of the salt 